Several subjects have experienced fleeting bouts of paranoia. Base fears, phobias, and even dreams contribute to a temporary overload of their conscious minds. The duration of these episodes can range anywhere from a few seconds to several hours. Subjects appear unable to distinguish the implanted memories from their own. So what's going on guys, Mr. Dalek JD here and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Snapchat teaser video. This one that you saw just before I introduced this video was a combination of three new Snapchat teasers. We got some new ones yesterday, then we got a really, really interesting one today. So I thought I'd compile them for you guys and do a massive breakdown looking at all three as they're very, very similar. But if you guys enjoy this, smash that like button. This is a very, very exciting time. So jumping into the first Snapchat here, the first Snapchat, the speech in it is Dr. Salim saying several subjects have experienced fleeting bouts of paranoia. And we just have this one shot, uh, which almost could be from uh, the, the viewpoint of someone who's lying on the floor and uh, is, is suffering some sort of paranoid experience looking up at the ceiling so we can see all these lights. At some points, we can see weird silhouettes of what looks like a hand or an arm, but definitely doesn't look human-like. There's some weird shape to it. I'm not too sure could be anything really if you guys have any suggestions let me know i wouldn't go so far as to say it's a zombie arm but it is just some sort of weirdly uh deformed looking arm and there's like one real shot which i noticed as well which looks like fire but i don't really think it is and a lot of other people don't believe that that is actually a flame could be some sort of head but i really don't know this is a very very vague snapchat the next one it says base fears phobias and even dreams contribute to a temporary overload of their conscious minds now this snapchat is pretty freaky because we just have one shot of a of a hand with a drip in it attached to it and we just have this weird heartbeat which gets increasingly faster towards the end normally when a heartbeat gets faster and faster you know what happens you know someone's about to die which is pretty sad but the the speech is very very interesting because throughout this we we get the we get the viewpoint of someone who's obviously in some sort of hospital bed but uh the base fears phobias and even dreams and we can see slight changes in the scene where we can see shots of the crows again that we've seen before in previous snapchats crows uh signify death but also crows can also go hand in hand uh well ravens can go hand in hand with wolves that we did see in a previous snapchat where they work in harmony together uh we also have some shots of a uh, nice little sky as well and we also have an, another a shot of the snowy forest so these can all be some sort of somehow fears uh phobias or dreams that the person uh, that we're looking at is inhibited uh, throughout their lifetime and is now experiencing these during these weird after effects of the uh testing that dr salim has done and this testing seems to be too much for our human minds to possibly uh, take in all at once which is why it has a temporary overload and the subjects suffer from all these symptoms now the last snapchat is definitely the most in interesting this one says the duration of these episodes can range anywhere from a few seconds to several hours subjects appear unable to distinguish the implanted memories from their own which is absolutely insane and open so many doors to all these snapchats that we've been unable to understand before and now it finally makes sense all these weird scenes that we've seen are, are recounts of people's um experiences or other people's experiences that they've been implanted into themselves which is crazy so this idea of uh, inserting uh, microchips into the brain it, stuff injected into them in order for them to to do things is because they're trying to implant these patients with other memories which is crazy maybe almost wiping their memory so that they can be used as like cyborgs or robots but whatever dr salim is planning this definitely doesn't sound like it's gone right because it says subjects appear unable to distingu distinguish the implanted memories from their own so dr salim is trying to get rid of all these humans and their memories they want to completely wipe them in order to almost build up a whole army which is crazy but it sounds like things aren't going to plan because the humans can't tell if these memories that they're experiencing are theirs or if they were implanted they pretty I'm pretty certain they wouldn't be told that these were going to be implanted into them, but it sounds like things are going wrong and is literally corrupting the human mind, potentially causing something 
far different than what Dr. Salim even intended with these weird with this weird project. Um, the game description, A Dark Twisted Future, is the uh, specific description which makes me feel like whatever Dr. Salim is trying to do, something else is happening in the process which he wasn't planning and this is going to be a very evil really creepy thing which i think is going to be really really cool and i'm really liking these teasers so far we're less than nine days away now from the game being revealed so i can imagine that these snapchat teasers are going to get even more intense than they already are particularly today's was absolutely insane but i'll keep you guys up to date with all the latest on these snapchat teasers if you guys have any ideas on either of these three that i've mentioned let me down below in the comment section get discussion going like i mentioned if you're logged into a youtube channel smash that like button subscribe for more black ops 3 goodness and i'll catch you guys on another video soon.